हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स कम बैक टू डिसीजन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सी एफ जी नव इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन वॉट डू यू मीन बाई डिसीजन प्रॉपर्टीज वन ऑफ दोज डिसीजन प्रॉपर्टीज वॉज मेंबरशिप प्रॉब्लम वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम इज सपोज वी आर गिवन सम कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर लेट्स कॉल इट एज जी जी इज द ग्रामर and we want to check whether some string w belongs to the language generated by that grammar or not so we want to solve this problem and the question is can can there exist can there exist an algorithm an algorithm or a method or a method which will solve this problem which problem membership problem is there any method crystal clear method which if we follow if we follow that method then membership problem will be solved is what we are trying to find out i repeat we are trying to find out is membership problem solvable or not does there exist a method to find whether w belongs to lg or not and the answer to this question is yes we can solve membership problem of cfg what we will do is we will use chomsky normal form instead of pure cfg we will use you know that cnf is nothing but cfg with limitations that the right hand side can be exactly two non terminals or right hand side can be a single terminal correct and we will use this cnf notation instead of pure cfg that's first point and second point is we will use leftmost derivation you know this term leftmost derivation with backtracking now what do you mean by backtracking let's see let's see with an example we are given a grammar now just check the smallest string developed in the language of this grammar will be a the smallest string is a come on because the start symbol directly gives a yes start symbol has ability to generate small a so a will be one of the strings generated by this language correct now do you have any algorithm to prove that a small a is member of the language is the problem can you develop a method by which you can prove that small a is the part of the language is the topic called membership problem if there exists such a method if there exists an algorithm then we say membership problem is solvable now how would you do it manually you tell me forget about algorithm forget about computer algorithm how will you prove that a is member a is the member of the language you will say sir it is very easy we will start derivation from s s is the start symbol and s gives a look we have used this we have used this particular production s gives a but this was using our intelligence that we did not use s gives ab see s had two options s can derive ab s can derive a but how intelligently we have used s derives a because we needed a and we did not use the first production well if we are writing a computer program which will take a string and prove that this string is generated by this grammar then our program cannot be so intelligent that it will pick the correct production isn't it i hope you are understanding what if we want to automate we want to write a program program cannot be so intelligent so what our program will do we want to prove that prove that string a belongs to language lg and indeed it belongs because s generates a so how our program will proceed you just check it will say let me start derivation from s and i will use the production s derives ab come on this is the first production given so it it will go for the first production s derives ab and then it will say okay now let me use leftmost derivation so leftmost symbol is a here it will say let me check what a, a gives us a gives cs so it will proceed it will proceed to say a gives cs okay now the leftmost derivation gives c and observe c gives a c gives a but very soon you know our program will at least come to know that we have got a fine fantastic we have got this a 
but there are some more symbols pending you can check this s is pending this b is pending what that means is this s and this b will give some more some more characters but we needed only a and we are going to end up with with a larger string that means that means the latest the latest derivation that we used was wrong and our program will backtrack i hope you are understanding our program will know that something is fishing because we are getting a longer string so previous production that was used was wrong and is there any alternate production for s yes alternate production for s is s derives a but this it will know only after using the choices it will eat up first choice go down the tree and then we will see that program will see oh it is generating some extra things that means the production used was faulty so it will backtrack backtrack and it will ask any other option for s yes there is an option for s a and good lord we have generated a isn't it so so you can see that this is time taking process but obviously for a program this is not time taking because we are using a fast machine and on that machine these options can be tried let's continue with membership algorithm we can call this as an algorithm isn't it because it has strict steps so what was our grammar i will have to refer this was the grammar s derives ab i think just check s derives ab s derives a then we had in our chomsky normal form we have a derives cs b derives b a derives cs b derives b and we have c derives a c derives a now just see we have proved that there exists an algorithm which can check whether a belongs to this language or not correct now another string that can be derived from this grammar is just check another string i am writing some string over here is s s derives ab then a can give us cs correct and c will give us a s will give us a and b will give us b so aab aab is the another string that can be derived from this grammar but how will our algorithm work just check the algorithm will say i will start with s and the very first option i will use s derives ab well our program is not sure whether it is going to reach this string or not but it is using the first option for the start symbol then it will see what are the options for a oh luckily a has only one option so there is no other choice it will use cs then it will check leftmost derivation remember so it will use leftmost symbol it will check what is the option for c oh luckily there is only one option a so we got the first letter you see first letter a successfully now it turns to leftmost derivation and it takes this s be careful be careful our algorithm will say i will use s derives ab just be careful about this it, it will not intelligently use s derives a because the second letter we want is a just check but very soon when our algorithm will go down the tree it says that a, a derives cs and then c derives a okay we got a but we have some more letters here you watch s is again going to give us ab and so on so we are going to get a longer string so our algorithm will know that the latest choice that it used for s was faulty so is there any option for s yes there is an option s derives a so how it said that the string that it is deriving is wrong but string that it has derived till now is correct till now means till a and option for s it used s derives ab is wrong so it will use the second option s derives a now you can see that it can understand it is on right track and then when it reaches this non terminal b b derives b which is of course the correct choice and we got a a b again we got this using cnf and backtracking backtracking of course backtracking was supported by leftmost derivation lmd <laughs> just check one very important point you know is that if you are asked i repeat if you are asked to prove is aab is aab member of the language 
then you will not use any backtracking. Please try to understand. We are trying to figure out that is membership problem solvable via an algorithm. Can there exist an algorithm? And yes, there exists an algorithm. We saw. We can write a computer program. So membership problem is solvable. Answer is yes. Observe. If you are asked, try it again. If you are asked, is AAB, is AAB member of the language? How will you do it? You will say S derives AB. And come on, A derives CS. Correct? A derives CS. C gives A. And then you will intelligently say S gives A directly. You will not use S derives AB and backtrack unnecessarily. And B derives B. Because we are watching all these productions, but our program will go on the choices as they appear in the grammar and then backtrack. I hope you have understood membership problem is solvable using an algorithm. That means membership decision property is solvable means yes is the answer. There exists an algorithm. Thank you very much.